So I just want to share with you this um, dryer situation that I've had. It's a little embarrassing that it took me so long to figure out a solution to this problem. But uh, I thought it might help somebody. I know the situation's kind of unique and probably won't apply to a lot of people. But uh, I live in an apartment and it's really designed for a stackable washer and dryer. There's the exhaust vent you can see up in the left-hand corner. But unfortunately, the way this utility room is set up, this bar right here really prevents a stackable from fitting there. So I've been here about five and a half years. And for the dryer, I always had a, uh, a duct, periscope duct that would come up here for the exhaust. And I was burning up motors on my dryer. The ventilation wasn't good enough. And I'm embarrassed to say that when I first moved in here, I had a brand new dryer. It lasted about a year and a half. Got a used dryer. It lasted about a year and a half. Got another used dryer. It lasted about a year and a half. And I'm on my third one. And I thought, you know, if I keep doing the same thing, we're going to keep getting the same results. And I really didn't know what to do to fix the problem. And so I finally, I bought eight cinder blocks, stacked them too high and decided to run the exhaust hose underneath the dryer into one of these little kits. You can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're like 10 bucks. Uh, of course, water goes in here to catch the lint. You got to change it out periodically. But I definitely feel like I've solved the dryer issue. Um, when the exhaust comes out of there, uh, it's about 40% better airflow than what I was getting out of the back. So if you live in a situation where you've got poor ventilation for your dryer, as opposed to coming up over the top, um, this might be an option for you. I know that it looks a little redneck, a little hillbilly, but uh, I've also got the fan there to kind of, I plug it in when the fan, when the dryer's running, I plug the fan in, kind of suck some of that hot air out of there. And uh, I guess the only real negative is, um, you know, in the fall and winter, it's great because I can really strategically do my laundry, which I've got to do anyway. And I get a lot of residual heat for, uh, I can basically heat my whole apartment actually just with the residual heat coming from the dryer. Now, of course, in the spring and summer, um, my air conditioner is battling my dryer. So I try to plan. I usually do a load right before we go to work. Um, and then uh, that tends to work for us. But anyway, just thought this might help somebody. I uh, wish it had occurred to me earlier. And um, I appreciate it. Take care.